When I was younger, kids were a lot more active and we used to wrestle at school because wrestling was on television. And then a friend of mine took up judo, which um, I thought, well, I better do judo. He's doing judo. And um, next time I met him, I was a brown belt. He hadn't bothered even starting. Well, the Munich Olympics, um, it was just tremendous. Munich's a beautiful city. The German people were very, very friendly. Um, unfortunately, some of the memories would be the terrorist attack. I remember being in the parade. Interesting about the parade was we were in front of the Israeli team. And I remember wondering at the time which of them were killed. It was rather sad that, um, because obviously we chatted to them as we lined up and then we marched into the stadium. Guns going off and stuff like that really didn't mean an awful lot to us. I know Charlie Nash, who also from Derry went, heard the shooting. I don't remember hearing the shooting. I do remember an extreme annoyance at amongst athletes generally that the games would be stopped and the games would be interrupted. And it was partly directed against the organisers who, as I say, were, were, had failed in their security for the Olympic Village, but mainly directed against the terrorists. I was there for three weeks at one fight. I lost a close decision to a Danish guy, if I remember rightly, who went no further himself, and that was it. But subsequent to that, I've redeemed myself by winning lots and lots of tournaments. I continue to fight because I enjoy it. Um, I mean, I'm going, to, I'm going to Poland in May, I'm going to Brazil in October, and who wouldn't enjoy that? All my mates do judo, so I'm with them when I train. Um, and I meet all these people when I go to Brazil, I meet people that I fought in Frankfurt and I fought in Budapest, and it's, just, it's sort of uh, almost a community of people. Judo is just one of the martial arts. There are, I guess, 30, 40 martial arts. Judo differs from most of the others in that um, we basically do throwing, but we don't kick, we don't punch, and we, I don't think we hurt each other. All these sports take discipline. This is what, why, why people I think, tune into martial arts. You can't just go and punch somebody or you can't just pick somebody up and throw them. There's a lot of discipline to do with safety and respect, and that's very, very important for us. Even before I took up judo, I wanted to be a world champion and a European champion, and I hadn't even put a judo suit on, I hadn't even gone to a judo club. I'm not ambitious, that was just what I wanted to be. It sounds very ambitious, but it, it's not. It's just me stating what I eventually expected to do. In many senses, judo is just a hobby. It's always been a hobby of mine. I've done other sports as well, and I've done other things as well, and raised a family. So it's not, it's important to me, and it takes up a lot of my time, but I really see it as just one of the several hobbies that I have. I mean, I've been around the world, I've been all over Europe, and I've been doing judo for 50 years this year. I'm involved in the International Judo Federation Committee um, for Masters, which is my age group, and uh, therefore I go to committee meetings abroad and stuff like that. I go to tournaments where we have committee meetings, so uh, representing Britain in that capacity. Going to the Olympics is certainly something that people would talk to me about, but it, it doesn't have... A, as much significance for me as I think it does for other people. Um, I've enjoyed Munich as a trip away. I've enjoyed Auckland, the Commonwealth Games, as a trip away. I, I don't really know what I would pick out as the highlight at all. Well, I haven't finished my career yet anyway. Maybe my highlight is yet to come. <laughs>